people, you know what I'm saying, introduce yourself and, and we go from there. Well, you know, I go by CTST Mall. You can catch me. You can follow me on Instagram, CTST underscore mall. I got the clothing line, CTST chasing, you know, from Baltimore, Maryland, Pennsylvania Avenue, 1500 block. Yeah. So, uh, I am basically, bro, I already know, I kind of already know, so this gonna be, it's kind of going to be a little guided, but, you know, uh, I seen you. I seen you had a show yesterday. I, I I started talking to you about it yesterday when you called me, but I rather have some have it on, on footage. You know what I'm saying? Because we can tap right. a little walk. I know you try to spread out a little bit. So what you had going on yesterday? Uh, I had the uh, I had the uh, the radio station DJ Duke. Shout out to DJ Duke. Uh, I had the little podcast on there. I actually did a performance. You know. On there, had a good time on your show though, you know. What you had a bottle? Huh? You got a bottle of Remy on that joint? Yeah, you know I had a fifth of Remy on that motherfucker. I was like, yeah, hey, I'm mad. I'm mad at they having too much fun in that joint. I ain't even gonna lie, man. In the last, I ain't like I've been doing this music thing for like a while now, but like as far as like being active and doing yeah. shows and stuff and doing shows and all that. I mean, it's been a few years, but I did a show, like, I think I did maybe, like, one show out Baltimore before, but y'all music scene kind of, like, emerging for real. It's like, I got a lot of rappers and a lot of people, it, it look like D.C., but it's kind of, like, a lot more people trying to build up, because y'all got a lot of indie fest out there, though. So yeah, it, it's, get, it's definitely getting, it's getting litty now, you know? They catching on. Yeah, they like uh, I already told you, even when we talk, like I don't really even had that many, had that many Baltimore rappers that I would really say that I know. Right. For real, for real. I don't really well, you know this. Really know. Yeah, absolutely. But I don't, it's like everybody else. Like I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. It's a lot of DC rappers I don't really know. I heard them, but I, I just ain't about to go listen to them. Like everybody be having the having the same thing going on. But since I met you. Your process and your whole story kind of like it's more organic to you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't right. like you you ain't never come off as no facade. Like oh let me let me drop these drug lord bars. Nah, it ain't it don't even really be on that. It be like it's like what they used to call it back in the day reality rap. Like about the stuff you got going on. Yeah, so hey, so you uh I say you dropped that song too, the junk you wrote for your uh for your cousin. Yeah. You fucking with that? Oh, so you dropped the bit? Yeah, you're yeah, right. I'm fucking with that. You're all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you damn sure. Yep, you was right uh, there when I was writing this shit. Hell yeah. Uh, hey, I was there when you was writing that joke. So I was all right. I was just waiting for the finished product for real, for real. <laughs> hey, hold on, right? Hey, QA, you can pause right here, right here. Uh, I'm not saying. Uh, that was your first live performance yesterday, right? <laughs> Uh no. You performed before that time, or period? Yeah, I, at that spot, that was my first live performance. Oh, yeah, there, I remember you telling me you went out fifty. I had opened up back in the day when I first started this music shit. I had uh I had a feature with a a, a dude uh Pastor Pastor Dro and uh we had a song together and we had opened up for Tone Trump. How long you been? How long you been doing the rap stuff? Oh man, like, I ain't rapping. Rap. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna say rap, rap. <coughs> <coughs> I'm gonna say. <coughs> <coughs> I started like I started rapping in 2011 when I came home, and uh, I was playing around with that shit. Until like, you know, and because I never took it serious, you know, I ain't no rapper. I never took it serious, but my guys took it serious, so that's what made me, you know, really get into it. So, but I got it. I really started taking it serious three years ago when I seen my craft and I seen my 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 my, my campaign and my clothing line elevating. You get what I'm saying? I meant, I meant to have my flannel on for this podcast. I ain't even hold you, but that's y'all in the closet. 
I be break I break that uh that CTSD flannel while we you know what I'm saying when I be stepping out all this down. Right. But, yeah, I, I ain't never asked you before, but what made you come up and, and choose the acronyms like you know what I'm saying, chasing the same thing? Like what made you where, where that start from? Well, uh <coughs> it's crazy because CTST started. I was working at Target, yo. And I had two guys, Slick 600 and Jimmy, CTST, Jimmy Pocket. Shout out to my guys, you know. And uh, we used to unload the trailer and shit. And one day I just threw an instrumental on. And I liked what I was hearing from them two guys. You get what I'm saying? And I was like, man, we about to lock in, but what we going to call out, sir? And I'm just using my brain. I'm just sitting up here just thinking, like, we all chasing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? And I just, you know, took the letters from the first letter or each each word, C-T-S-T, and I just branded that bitch and just ran it with that. You get what I'm saying? I definitely, it's definitely one of them jokes. Like, I, I feel like that was the order story for, like, it be the pancakes and all of like pancakes and all the pot, like everything that we came up with for Brandon over this side, I feel like it's the same origin story for real, for real. It'd be interesting to hear still, like sitting around, it'd be something real random, but chasing the same thing, kind of like one of them jokes. Like, I think that's the new wave for the rappers. Like, you got YNW, you got, you know what I'm saying, OTF this dude or whatever, whatever this dude, you know what I'm saying? NBA right. this dude. Nah, that's, def that's definitely, that's definitely some, uh, that's definitely clever. And I, I like how everything got, it's, it's basically like marathon. You know what I'm saying? Everything about moving and, and making money for real. For real. Yeah, that's all it is. It's, it's, it's the person chasing the same thing, the slogan chasing is within you. Me, I'm chasing. I'm, I'm trying to get my family out here. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's not just about me. It's about me uplifting my community, me doing things for my community, you know, helping the next person out to, you know, to do great things. Right. And once the door open for me, man, it's going to be a wrap, you know? I'm telling you now, because that's the type of good-hearted person I am. I was just telling the dude that uh, at work early, a young dude I was working with, he's like 24, and just, like, What's the way he carried, the way he carried, like, how I he love. carried the job and all the hustle and all that, he just thinking, like, I don't got to do this. I don't got to do that. I'm like, the thing that got me straight when I went to the feds, right? And I was talking uh -huh. to this dude. And I'm like, bro, I'm trying to hustle. I'm trying to learn how to get money in a joint, right? And he done been doing time. He already did. He done came from Big Sandy. So he's like, man, look, you can do this, this, and this. I'm like, bro, I ain't about to sell no coffee. The nigga tell me straight up, man, you can't live above the hustle. You can't be above the hustle until it, it, you master it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. He said, he said that to me. I'm saying, I I, I went to the I went to the store, man. I grabbed like three bags of coffee and broke that joint down like like weed for real. And, and from that point on, I never been the type of person like bro, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't I done scoop shit before. Like real live, they clean the patties. You know what I'm saying? I done done like I done tried my hand in a lot of a lot of stuff to get to it. And now I, I think it took me it took me a little while to get here, but I guess I got to this point where it's like I ain't about to be, I can't put myself above what, what's going on out here. Like, my family got to eat. I can't be too proud to say, oh, I'm not working at McDonald's or even a Target at 30 years old to feed my family. I'm a grown man. Like, I, I don't even think like that no more. And a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of people get this raps, get this gift, or get the, get the back for it and just want to take it and think they just going to run the game dry. We're going to get the money hold the bands, but we ain't going to take care of the community. It, like, it don't really work like that. See, that's where that's where I see a lot of people got it twisted. And to not to each his own, everybody get that blessing, but everybody don't know how to take that blessing and, you know, do right by it. Prime example. All right. Like Carmelo, like, 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 like right. Carmelo Anthony, like Carmelo Anthony, like Carmelo Anthony. I figure 
he in a he in a, he in a, he in a pr good proposition to do more for the city. You get what I'm saying? Right. It's about it's about the youth. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's the future. I figure I figure I figure it's dudes that's in good in good propositions. They don't utilize it like I would utilize it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean. I be thinking, like, I don't really know really Carmelo's, like, I ain't even gonna lie, like, I grew up, I like Carmelo, I remember when he got drafted from Syracuse. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Melo. Yeah, like, I remember all that. I ain't even gonna lie, I remember when he even was trying his hand, because he, he put some bread behind, uh, what's his name? Cassidy. With the, uh, Cassidy. with the cross up, yeah. But, I don't, I, I just be thinking, like, with, 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 a lot of times what people expect, and then from a person like it ain't like he ever had an interview like me and you having right now. And he said, "Man, when I get my chance, when the door open for me, I'm 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 opening the back door and the window. You know what I'm saying? Niggas coming in here. Everybody don't be. They he probably ain't even speak that into the universe for he for he even to come back like that. You know what I'm saying? He probably was like, "Man, I'm trying to make it out, take care of my dog, make sure this, you know what I'm saying? This nigga, good, this nigga good." Then. Then a lot of times, like, uh, people that's from two hometowns, like, you know, he's from Baltimore, but he's from New York. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of dudes don't don't know which one to pick to go and put the support in. Cause it's, and then, and then it's yeah, like, yeah. How, how, much can, how much can he give to the city anyway before everybody tear down and break it up? Like, I, I come home, I invest a million in the city, but nigga shoot my, shoot my basketball joint up or shoot my show up or shoot this up. That's what a lot of bandits be worried about, I feel, because I ain't gonna that lie. Can happen, I, that can happen anywhere. Nah, nah, that's facts, but it's gonna happen more so in Baltimore than in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's more likely to happen in the inner city, especially where we coming from. We rising out of poverty using rap skills and basketball dribbles. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta really think. You don't really hear too many stories when a nigga then from Southeast D.C. or from West Baltimore or from East Baltimore, wherever in Baltimore, he he uh, and wherever in DC, really, he just sat in the garage and developed the latest processor for a cell phone that's five times faster than the iPhone. Like you don't really be it. It probably it happens. I don't think that it doesn't happen, but I'm saying right. like you don't really they 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 gonna cap us anyway. But a lot of mellow story is he ain't know how to transition from the streets to the business. You know what I'm saying? He ain't know the transition. Like he even said in his interviews, like, bro, the NBA is the feds. They be knowing all your business. Yeah. <laughs> like, <clears throat> but I mean, you purpose driven, right? So it it get different when you purpose driven, especially when if you already get some money or you know how to take care of yourself, it become different when you already got that confidence that you a provider and you can you can do exactly. that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, from that, from that, it's more. You know what I'm saying? It's more to be done. Right. But I know, I know, I remember you mentioned to me some community work that you had going on. Uh, let's tap in on that for a little bit. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the CTFT get back. You know? So, I, uh, I take, I take that and that's, that's my community. That's, 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 that's the, uh, work that I do from me being in the community, doing other things. Now that I'm out the, you know, out that other world, now that I can get back. You get what I'm saying? So right. with the T get back, it's, it's, it's like me basically giving someone a meal because I know right. there's a lot of people out here that can't get a meal every day. You get what I'm saying? And right. I was going, I had started that to do that once a month. You get what I'm saying? And right. you know, my hands tied up in so much stuff. Like I rap, I got that, I work. You feel what I'm saying? And other shit. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I got that coming back up, and I'm gonna do something next month. I'm gonna do a right. get back. I ain't got the date yet. I'm gonna let you know. But that's 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 the feed of the the community. I try to feed like 300 to 500 people every time I do it, and. Oh, yeah. I got a sponsor, Safe Street now, so I got somebody that's backing me because it'd be like I take everything out of my own pockets and you know I do it by yeah. myself. I ain't got no problem, nobody. No, I'm not. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You already know 